Welcome to Goboland. It's a mystical place with weird things, but mostly cute, colourful shit. Uh, I'll just take you to the entrance here. I didn't know what the best way was to show you everything, but I'll, I'll do my best, so hopefully this is okay. Uh, start off with the entrance. Pink's my favourite colour. You'll probably be able to tell that. This is a little beach area with my little floaty little gyroid boy. There's a little farmer's market here to the left. My island is actually a, a pear island, but you would think it was peach because I have eradicated most pears. <laughs> you come through the middle here. Just a cute little area. Come to the left, there's a little campsite here. Someone's in there. They weren't worth showing, so don't worry about it. I would have loved to have used more mushrooms, but I was on a time crunch to restart my island, so just that little bit of mushrooms is uh, is enough. I have a little playground area here, I get caught on something. And on the right it links up to residential services. You see a couple of my villages here. Um, I really love the gyroids. When they added the gyroids I was like, sweet, I'm going to use these everywhere. So. I hope I didn't use them too much, but they are definitely dotted around. I have a cute little cafe area next to Able Sisters. I really like Able Sisters just having her like own little island. I think that's cute. We have some models and some stars. Here's my little like statue area up there. We'll go through that in a second. But first, there's a party happening. <laughs> and we were invited, thankfully. I really didn't know what to do with the beach beaches, but I thought making a little party area with gyroids would be cute. And there's one reading a book over there. He stole someone's diary. I don't know why I go back to just to show you that there are dogs there and a little bike there. Anyway, we'll carry on. Get back to this section where all my statues are. Olaf is uh, there. Great. Glad he's doing that, just having a little look-see. Um, glad that's immortalised forever. Here's my sweet cheese boy. Push him out of the way. <laughs> Here's my rainbow flowers that I put in this area, but hold on a minute, I will get distracted. And they're not, all, all the flowers aren't there. I missed a couple and I just forgot to put them there. I think I might have got rid of them or they're hiding in another place. Here's some little gnomes hanging out. Uh, just people playing sax on the beach. Don't worry about it. Uh, yep, that's there. They have their own bed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> A more casual beach area down here in front of the museum. I've looped back around to the uh, statue area here. I like how this museum area turned out. I was really struggling with how big it was, but I think that works pretty well. Um, and here you just see I link up with the with Olaf looking intensely at that statue. Good. There's a little waterfall area over there that's pretty cute. I need to learn some other words that aren't cute, however. We'll go back through the flower garden and take you to the left where you see some laundries happening. Lovely. And here is a spa area. I should have really maybe done... I think I could have done more here, but it's fine, you know, it's, it's passable. Um, oh, hey bestie. Stinky was one of my first villagers and uh, has never been allowed to leave. He's my sweet baby boy. I had so many of these Godzilla dudes. They needed to be used. Uh, here's Boots' area. Again, you have a robot a hero. Is it called a robot hero? You had robot hero, you have to use robot hero. Does it make sense there? No. He's protecting the island, don't worry about it. Um, there's a secret library here. You can get secret books there. What kind of secret books? You don't need to know. Okay, we're back. We're at the back of residential services now, going to look, what the fuck? Why do I never remember that dog's name? <laughs> What's wrong with me? 
The stitches' house is there. We have a little fairground area here. Do a little hop. Um, here's my castle uh, for Olaf. He is meant to be trapped in there, but he somehow keeps escaping. And this is Stinky's area, at the very top of the island. He has various gold thrones dotted around with some sports, because he's a sports boy. Just a small break. Good. This just links up with Boots' area here. And I noticed that he's actually in, so I'm like, oh, let's go and have a look. Because uh, Boots has a very important area in his house. Oh, he's sleeping. He's a sleepy boy. Uh, he has the OG sports corner. Which is now, a, it's like, a, it's just a meme on my Twitch channel. That I did this sports thing with a bunch of sports stuff. Sports! I don't, I don't have any interest in sports, particularly. <laughs> but it's a thing now and I can't erase it from the law, so. Anyway, lots of green, green flowers there for boots. For the green. So we'll wrap back around past the castle. This part links up with the main, like, centre path of the island. You can just come straight up here. And this is like a back alley market area bunch of vending machines still trying to like lean into the pink here obviously here we have weed gnome he's doing great business is booming no business is booming not blooming although that does also work here's the secret beach and you can see more of olaf's castle there it is just castle walls <laughs> around him he has nothing else <laughs> I had to take him for a charity incentive. I do not like Olaf. <laughs> no offense, Olaf lovers. Uh, here's Nook's Cranny, uh, which is a bunch of shit around it. But here we're going into Trash City. Trash City is an abandoned city that was run by a mafia. I'm very proud of Trash City. I think it looks cool. I love all the little things everywhere. So you'll start to see that there are a bunch of posters on the ground. When we come up to Marlo's house, up here, Marlo is the... I want to say he's the king of the mafia, but I... <laughs> that's what I'm going to go with. He's got some wanted Marlo posters on the ground. He doesn't care though. He's got his car battery running and everything. He don't give a shit. We loop up over here to, unfortunately, not Bella. I kicked Bella out because I needed to move out another villager and unfortunately I could never find her again. So we're stuck with Limburg, which I think also gives off trash vibes. Okay, and we'll scoot over here. We got Chadder's house. My sweet cheese mouse. You see that wanted poster? That's Bella. I didn't draw that, but whoever drew that, I love you. You're incredible. We'll find Bella one day. And you can exit the Trash City through the south as well. It's another wanted poster for Marlo. And now we're in like the foresty garden area. Farm area. That's the word I'm looking for, the farm area. Here's Gaston's house. I love Gaston. He can do no wrong. He's such a precious boy. I hunted real hard for him. <laughs> He's got knives above his door. So do most of my villagers. That's just like the Gobbo land staple, is that you have knives above your door. You never know when you might need them. Here's a little farm area. There you go. A pig gyroid. Some little washing to the left. A well, a silo, lovely. Uh, if we go back over here, you'll see that I'm near the entrance now. But you see my tiny selection of fruit trees here which I wanted to make a whole area but it's just taking up too much room for trees and there's Gonzo's house that we just went past so come back down here and we get to the beach the gyroid beach 
They're all on dates. It's canon now. Right, we got a little fishing area here. Marketing some fish. Good job, gnome. Then you come up this beach and we're like entering the trash city beach area. Where you can slip into the trash city to the right there. And oh my god, a chainsaw? Who left a chainsaw here? Oh. A frog magician will tell you your fortunes though, if you need um, your fortune being told. Uh, welcome to Skeleton Beach. New edition, spider crab. They're just hanging out, doing skeleton things. Oh my god. Why is this behind Marlo's house? Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I'm telling a story here. <laughs> huh. Crazy. Okay. Anyway, I can get through here. There we go. But that's my island tour. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me show you my map and my villages I have. We got Stinky, obviously, Gonzo, Stitches, Boots, Gaston, Glimberg, Daisy, that's the name, Olaf, Chadder, and Marlo. My island's looking pretty flat from this map, but it's okay. There's a lot of character to it, you know. Let me show you inside my house now. Okay, here's my house. I am very proud of the majority of my house, but not all of it. <laughs> this is my like first big room. This is the most like inside of my brain room ever. This is what my brain looks like. And then we go on to the kitchen. The kitchen's very cute, very homey. Uh, I was obsessed when the food came out and just put food everywhere as much as I could. So here's some of my favorites. Those pancakes, those pancakes look great. Then we go up north here. This is the mermaid room. Uh, it is a homage to the previous game. Was it New Leaf? I think it was New Leaf that had this item set as well. Um, but I couldn't get them all when I played the game myself back then. So that's just a room for my younger self <laughs> to feel accomplished that I got them all. I do love that furniture set. Uh, this is like a little living room, um, but gyroids have taken over a little bit featuring <laughs> it's a living room also there's a hot tub in the corner don't worry about it uh we need to keep my little dehydrated boy safe and calm he's my favorite he's so scrunkly just a little scrunky boy okay and here's downstairs downstairs is mostly a thing because i just wanted to use that hydrangea wallpaper it's my favorite wallpaper but i just don't know how to make it work <laughs> And my upstairs is um, a, an absolute mess. There's some butt butterflies over there. You can tell this is a room that I decorated when the update came out. Because there's just a bunch of the new items in here and like the decorations and the butt butterflies. And of course my race car bed, which often I would end my stream jumping into and it would honk. It's all part of the lore. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's Goboland. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I spent a lot of time on this island and it is my sweet baby.